Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is me, Reem, and for today's video, I'm going to be doing a long-awaited back-to-school clothing haul. Anyway, so yeah, today we're gonna I'm gonna show you guys all the clothes that I got for back to school. You guys are probably like, girl, what shoes did you buy? I didn't buy no shoes, but one pair of shoes. Where part of the adult life is not overspending your money like I was and kind of have other responsibilities and other expenses that are more important than some shoes on my feet. So anyways, um back to what the fuck I was saying. That's how I'm gonna show you guys like what I got for back to school. These clothes have been like since July, August, you know. Um, it's a new month today, it's September 1st. New beginnings. I'm no, just kidding. No, what the fuck? No, um, but yeah, today I just decided to sit down and finally film this video because these clothes have been sitting on my ground with new tags for a while. And I just need to put these bitches away now. Um, because they're taking up space. They're taking up space. But yeah, um, I'm gonna show you guys all the cute things that I got. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see. Uh, and yeah, let's get right onto this fucking clothing haul. Um, I guess I'll start off with like the first thing. I'll probably decide later. But this store is Uniqlo. Um, Uniqlo is pretty expensive for like a shirt or whatever, but it's cute or whatever, I guess. You know, you can shop for basics here for sure. Um, their sweaters are pretty overpriced, I'm not even gonna lie, so I don't really like shop for sweaters there because that bitch would be like $30 for a crew neck and I'd be like, no. Anyway, so this is the first top that I got. I like I got a white long sleeve just because like fall is coming up and even though it's really hot in the campus right now, I just thought that like when fall comes it would probably be a little bit more cold for a chalet. So I got a long sleeve. Anyways, I got the same style in green. This one has a tag. Got that. Then next I got these pants. These are like pretty fucking wide and big, but I got these white pants. I don't know how they will fit. I got it in a 27, so hopefully they fit. I maybe just need to shrink them in the dryer or something, because after the first wash, they shrink. But yeah, they're just some white jeans. Then next, I got this top. It's just a blue little crop top. It's pretty tight. Like, it's a tight and fit crop top, and I love tight and fit crop tops. And then lastly, I got this shirt. It's a Mickey Mouse shirt. Um, next, I went to the cow store and I got my boyfriend some merch and then I also got myself some merch. I'm probably not going to wear this because I'm kind of embarrassed to walk to rock merch on campus. So I'll probably wear this like outside of campus. But I got this little cool cow shirt. I thought that I I originally wanted to crop it, but then I was like, no, because like all I literally have is like cropped whore tees. I threw away, not threw away, but like I kind of gave away or like kind of got rid of like all my graphic tees and your girl kind of struggling right now to get some good nice fitted tees because I feel like long graphic tees look really ugly on me. Like, I don't know, my body looks disproportional. So I got this in a size small, just a little bear and a cow. I think this was like $20. This is kind of expensive. I ain't even gonna lie. Oh yeah, I love $18. Uh... Next, um, we can do, uh, this one store in Berkeley. I guess it's supposed to be, like, a thrift store or whatever. I really do not know what it's called, but they have, like, two stores combined in one. It's by the campus, but they have, it's, like, a thrift store, and then they have, like, other stores in there. Like, like, another store there with, like, new kind of clothes. But I got this top. It's, the brand is Boom Up. And I guess I'm kind of like, girl, that's a whore top you're correct but see the thing is i thought it was a really cute top and i think that i could probably wear this for like a cool event or something like let's say i go on a date with my my boyfriend or something and you know i just kind of want to feel a little bit more pretty a little bit more sexy you know what they say nowadays um bms broke my scale um no but like yeah i really want to wear this shirt it is a little bit whorish but this is a medium i'm afraid that the boob area is a little too big and this kind of looks like a c and i barely got out of the double a in the same store i got this over fucking price shirt but i thought it was cute and i just kind of wanted to buy something um but it's the brand pretty garbage and it was 20 fucking dollars and i was like but it's cute and I think that it's like it gives just the correct vibes. Like it gives you a little slit for a little whorish and it gives you a little um a little like chalet type of like 
material. Yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm just gonna stop talking. And I'm like, yeah, but I thought it was just cute. And plus, it's a long sleeve. So even though I'm showing a little stomach, I get a little coverage. And, you know, no one can dress code me because this is college. Who the fuck is gonna say something? No one. And if they do, you get a knuckle sandwich. But yeah, I got this in a size uh, small, I believe. Yeah, I got this in a size small. I got two jeans from Zara. These are probably my favorite jeans, but I do say that after a couple of washes, they get really tight and they just probably don't fit anymore. They do button up, but my little stomach be coming out, but it's okay. These are mid-rise. I was looking for low-rise, but then I stumbled across mid-rise, so I ordered these. They were $40 each. This I got in a size uh, 4, so I got this. The only thing I don't like is these buttons. Like, I literally hate these bu buttons with a passion. Like, if it weren't for these buttons, they would probably co close correctly. But these fucking buttons, man. Let me know if you know a way to get rid of them. Because I kind of want to get rid of them and add a little zipper. But, yeah, they're this. They're, like, baggy. They fit cute. Um, Yeah, they fit okay. They fit my body nice. But I... I always struggle finding like a good pair of jeans because now my Walmart jeans are kind of giving me a little bit insecurities about how I look like this. But, and then same style, I got these. It's like just light wash, you know, they're cute. Whatever, I got them from the Zara website. Um, H&M has been stepping up their game. I don't know if you guys have noticed, they've been stepping up their game. Um, not the men's section though, that should look whack. But the woman's section, god damn. They have really cool clothes. So I got this top. I got this little baby blue top because I really like baby blue. So I got this. I got in a size small or extra small. Yeah, I got in an extra small and it was $10. Sorry. Then I got this Nirvana shirt from there as well. It's cool, dope, you know, just a little basic tape. And then I got two pairs of shorts. So, on my first trip, I got these, and in the corner, it says, this garment was made for you in a kind way. I don't know, it's cool. Um, I got this in a size extra small, because I do have chicken legs, and I do got no ass, so it's not, you know. <laughs> Same pair in white. They re I'm scared that these might be a little see-through, though. And then I got, like, my favorite sweater of all time. I always wear this shit to work and like just outside but i got this in a size medium because all my sweaters i like to get them a size bigger just because i like that oversized look and especially with hoodies like it just looks nice having it like a you know like a bigger hood if that makes any sense but i just got this in black i think this was like 12 or 13 dollars i'm not really sure but i got this hoodie it's really warm inside so and then i don't have any sweaters anymore i don't know what the fuck happened to them but who knows I don't know. When you find out, let me know. Okay. I keep moving because like all my clothes are over there in the bed. Sorry, but okay. Next, I went to a us uh, the So So Market in Berkeley by the campus. So So Market is like they're at. <laughs> Bitch, there's a lot of vintage and thrift stores that go there. It's kind of like a swamp meat kind of stuff. I'm gonna say this: the prices are really fucking overpriced. The, they have really cute vintage clothes, though. I do will say that. But what you'll find there, you'll probably find at the Goodwill bins. But I don't know a Goodwill bin near me, so I don't go. But I got these pants. Shout out to me, my stuff and I, because I bought this. They were $40, but they're cute. Like, I probably won't wear them. i probably wear them tomorrow or something. But I thought they were cute. They're just some gray kind of pants, you know, the sweatpants. Um, and then it has, like, a school here. But next, we got this Naruto team. I have a bunch of Naruto tees, but I just wear them to sleep. I don't want no motherfucker asking me, you watch anime? Because to be honest, I really don't. <laughs> I just watch uh, Seven Deadly Sins and Naruto, and that's it. Because Naruto will be forever my favorite. Mm -hmm. But I got this. So some of these pairs have been worn, and I'm pretty sure there's more socks. But I always lose my socks because I take them off, and I forget where I left them, leave them. But in Urban Outfitters, they have 3 for 15 so I got these socks. They're just white plain socks with like a little um, flower. They look a little dirty, but that's just because no one sleeps in this motherfucking house. Anyways, um, I got these. They say nurture and nature. Um, and then a butterfly here. I got those. Because my brother opened them. And then I got these Hello Kitty um, socks that were $10. And the same day that I got this. 
I got this whole Squishmallow. I've never been the type to like be into Squishmallows, but when I saw this, I had to. And then at the same store, I got this like Naruto cup. It's like Sasuke and Naruto. I might have an addiction to shopping. Yes, I know. But I think I got um all of this from a store in the San Jose Mall. I think it's like Premier Mall, Premier Outlet. I don't fucking know. But it's the biggest mall in San Jose. The Westfield Mall in San Jose. It's like a little store in like... I don't really get how the floors work there, bruh. But yeah, I don't know. But I think it's in the lowest level or something. I don't know. But you're... Okay, and then next I got these socks from Urban as well. It's just kind of confetti and a smiley face. And then, while we're on the Urban Outfitters um, train, I'll show you guys what I got at Urban. Urban is fucking expensive. Me and my boyfriend go there. I don't know why we go there. I think it's both, for us, shopping is retail therapy. Like, literally, like, retail therapy. Like, that just makes us happy. And so, every time we go to Urban, and we kind of, like, do impulsive buys. And last time, we got, like, six things for, like, $300. I got these jeans Oh no, this is brandy. What the fuck? Sorry, give me a second. Okay, I got this cute little top from Urban. I probably need to wear this before it starts getting cold because it's already getting cold. Look at shit. I don't know why I got it, but I got it. Shit was kind of expensive though. It was like way expensive. Yeah, it was $30. For this little ass shirt. Oh hell nah. But can you guys see it? Yeah, it's kind of like real material, you know, it's a collar shirt. And then I got this dope as graphic tee. Um, it's a Space Jam tee, but it's like super cool. Look at this check. This is in a size medium and it was $40. Mm -mm. And then I think this one was like $30, but it's just a Metallica gray shirt. I got this in a size medium. And then I think I got this one in a size medium. Oh no, I got this one in a size small. It says out of this world Budweiser. I literally don't even fucking wear these, but oh well. And then lastly, my favorite piece. This Metallica crew neck, bro. Look at the back. Oh, yeah. You see this shit? This shit's so raw. I think this one was... 70 fucking dollars, Areem. You're fucking dumb. Good thing my boyfriend paid. Oh, uh, rings from Urban. Each of these packets were bainted dollars. Oh wait, this one was 20 and this one was 16. So this one here is a size 7, but it's really cool. It's like kind of green emerald or whatever rings. Uh, see that? Can you guys see that? Well, yeah, kind of, right? Yeah, and then I got these two. Um, It's a happy face and a sad face. Uh, I thought it was cool because they're like small and they're not like that fat big. Um, rings that I have and I love rings I literally ride it out for rings period okay then I went to Brandy and then we'll be done then I went to Brandy and I got these jeans look at these bad boys these pants are like they're like black cargos these bitches were where the hell is the price at um is was it $38 or I think these were $38 I don't know I could be wrong but yeah they're just some black cargos they're really big so I probably need to shrink them and I got this little cute top in a size oh this is a one size it's cute it says radio silence and then I got this New York top I think I got this at Paxson but it's like brandy because you know how they have section cute and then lastly i got these pants because i thought they were really cool and i think i saw isabel with them the tiktok girl and they're just like kind of boot cut and baggy from the bottom i think i got the in one size so yeah i got them in gray boom shakalaka that's it i might do a try on haul 